Well, hello, friends. Uh, today, I've just paid out a bug bounty uh, because we have a Serenity OS bug bounty program. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's on the website, serenityos.org slash bounty. Um, and I will pay out $5 uh, US dollars for any exploitable bug in the categories of remote code execution or local privilege escalation. Uh, and then there are some rules and stuff. But uh, today I paid out the very first bounty to uh, someone who goes by backslash zero or the null character um, who reported that in the default setup of Serenity, it's possible to become root by simply using the su command. So I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, you just run su and you are root. And quite technically, this is a local privilege escalation. And um, as was pointed out, there's nothing in the documentation or anything anywhere that mentions that this is possible. Um, so it, it does qualify as a bug and a local privilege escalation bug indeed. Now, I was a little bit skeptical of this at first, but um, but I, I think that it's, it's right to consider this a bug. So the fix that I made was uh, to simply uh, add a note to the documentation about how this is the case. And if you want to prevent this mechanism, um, which the mechanism is really only there for development convenience, right? So if you want to prevent that, you can go and edit the um, Etsy group file. Oh, wait, I don't have VI. <laughs> um, and remove Anon from the wheel group because the way that we protect SU is that we use the wheel group. So now if we reboot the machine, uh, then I will no longer be able to use SU because uh, the way that this is actually functioning is that the bin SU program is owned by the wheel group and it's only executable if you're either root uh, or if you are in the wheel group. So anyone outside cannot access the file. That's the protection mechanism here. But anyway, now we have a note in the documentation about it. So I would consider the bug uh, sort of fixed. Of course, um, going forward, we need to add password support for, uh, to the system and things like that, but we currently don't have passwords. So best we can do is a documentation note. Anyway, um, backslash zero, uh, I'm just gonna call him that, uh, requested that the uh, $5 be uh, donated to a charity called Kiwis for Kiwi. Um, so here is the email I got from Kiwis for Kiwi. Uh, thanking me for a generous donation of five dollars. Um, I'm not going to scroll down because it shows uh, some some transaction details and stuff. But um, basically, there we have it. I have fulfilled the uh, promise of of paying out the um, bounty. So I'm very very happy that I finally had a chance to pay out a bounty. And this, I guess, is both a video about the bounty itself, but also um, to let you know that this program exists if you're interested in, um, you know, security issues, uh, penetration testing, this type of stuff. Um, I don't have a huge budget, obviously, but I will pay for honest work. So if you uh, find any exploitable bugs in those two categories, remote code execution or local privilege escalation, uh, then get in touch with me and um, I will send you five bucks or uh, I send five bucks to somewhere that you, you choose. Um, yeah, so this was um, my little video about that. So thank you, Backslash Zero, for reporting the issue. And um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope, um, I hope to have a chance to pay out another bounty someday. Uh, hopefully soon. It would be really fun if people would find and report issues. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.